Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F, but in this video, WRNM 382, because we're going to be talking about the GMRS V1 from BTEC, and we'll get to it right after this. Before we begin, if you do me a favor and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and then you'll see a thumbs up, go ahead and click that. However, if you don't like what you're seeing, there's a thumbs down button to the right. Go ahead and click that one twice. Now we're going to see what's in this box. Okay, the items you get in the box, you get the wall wart and cradle for charging, belt clip, 1800 milliamp hour battery, the radio itself, antenna, wrist strap, you get an inner ear and mic combo earpiece, as well as the owner's manual. Okay, the manuals are very well written. What Baofeng Tech does is when they bring radios in, they go through them with a fine tooth comb. They make sure that they're compliant with the FCC. Like for example, on this GMRS one, they're talking about how you do need to be licensed and that this radio is FCC Part 95 Alpha certified. These radios will not transmit outside the GMRS frequencies, but they will monitor two meters and the whole of 440. You do not need a translator or an engineering degree to figure out these manuals. They're well written, easy to follow. Okay, these radios are basically the same thing as the UV82, only they're programmed and set up strictly for GMRS. They have the same dual push to talk feature. You have your monitor, and on the upper one, you can pick up a local commercial radio station. You have your usual menu, up, down, and exit, and also to switch between the A band and B band. You can do a lot of the menu controls right from the front pad. On the right side, you have the usual Kenwood style plug-in. You have a flashlight. The antenna is fully removable. You do not need a hex key to do it. This is a two watt radio per their website. At the time of this filming, they're going for $54.99. The battery is again an 1800 milliamp hour battery. Okay, the menu for this radio, it's pretty much exactly like every other Baofeng out there. You have about 44 menu options, including the zero for squelch. It gives you all the usual items, your step, transmit power. There's only two levels for this, high and low. And some of the frequencies are locked out. You cannot switch it to high. You can do Vox, wide, narrow. Your timeout timer. If you are going to program this from the face of the radio, you can do so. It's really simple. It's just like doing it on any other Baofeng. However, you cannot enter the name. You have to use software like Chirp to do that. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna input a frequency into this radio. It's a very simple process. The one we're gonna be putting in is for a NOAA weather channel, 162550. First thing you are going to wanna do is to get into the VFO mode and to do that, Turn off your radio, press and hold menu, turn the radio back on, and now you're in VFO. Go ahead and enter the frequency you want, again 162550. Once you have that entered, press menu and go to menu item 27. That's going to give you your memory channel and you can pick where you want to save it. You can go from 000 all the way up to 127. In this case, I want triple zero. Once you have picked the one you want, go ahead and hit menu again, and that puts CH in front of whatever menu item number. Exit out. Turn the power off. Press and hold menu. Turn the power back on. And that puts you back into channel mode. And you go down to whatever memory number you saved your channel in, and there you go. 
Okay, now we're going to use Chirp to do some quick programming. First thing you want to do is download the information from the radio. Make sure you have the right COM port. Your vendor is going to be BTEC and the model number is GMRS V1. Hit OK. You're going to get a bunch of warnings. And then it's going to start downloading. Now you can see where we earlier up here at Space Zero down, uh, programmed the NOAA Weather Channel. So now we can put a name in there. And if you notice, everything comes pre-programmed in low power. If you want to switch them to high, you can. However, some of these you cannot put in high. So you, you get this error, error setting memory, memory location only supports low. So you cannot change that. Here's your repeaters, 23 through 30. You can set these up for whatever you want. My local repeater, repeater 20 here, is on Santiago Mountain. You only put X number of spaces in there. And the frequency we want is 146.2. And if you want to monitor certain things, like say the national calling frequency, you can input that. If you have a favorite repeater around where you live, You're going to put that one as well. And you can still make it put in the tone as well as the PL however comma you are not going to be able to transmit on this. It is locked out. Once you've got everything you want in there, go ahead and switch over to settings. This is where you can customize the radio. You can change your colors, give some advanced settings, you can change your welcome sign, gives you some other additional settings, whatever you want when you go to VFO, however you want it set up. Your FM preset, I'm going to put in KLOS, 95.5 out of Los Angeles. You got some DTMF and service settings, don't ever mess with those. Once you're done with everything, go ahead and upload it back to the radio. You can again get a bunch of warnings. And that's all there is to using Chirp. You can buy the programming cable right from the Baofeng Tech website. Okay, now we're going to check out the power. We're going to start with low power on one of the Simplex GMRS channels. And we're getting about one watt on low. Switch that up to high. And we're getting about two and a half watts on high. So we get up in the repeater range real quick. Okay, let's try low. And again, one watt. And on high, we're at about two watts. So it stays pretty consistent all the way up the band. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, great thing about this radio is it has what's called sync mode. What that allows you to do is on the band A, you'll see your name of whatever channel you're on, and band B will show that frequency. 
Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.